What's going on family? Robert here. So I was once given a team building assignment at my job. Uh, an assignment where we were given a box of Legos and we had instructions to, con to build whatever the Lego structure was. However, what they didn't tell us was that there were some pieces that were missing in the instructions and there were some added pieces. So in the end, no one was able to make it exactly like what was detailed in the packaging. And we all had to improvise to make it work. We couldn't make anything what it was supposed to be. Here, in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10, the Lord is telling the leaders of the church, He is telling them that He can make them what they ought to be, even in the midst of suffering. The text says, And after you have suffered a little while, the God of peace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Will himself restore you. Here in the text, Peter is writing to a church of people who have been dispersed. They have been dispersed out of the comfortableness of the church in Jerusalem and have been scattered. And so he is trying to encourage them in this letter or epistle. But here specifically, towards the end of this, this letter, he is telling them, he is telling to the leaders, he is trying to encourage them that even in the midst of, of the suffering that they may be experiencing, even in the midst of the persecution that they may be facing, even in the midst of the difficult times that may be coming their way, that God can do some pretty amazing things. The Lord can restore them. The Lord can perfect them, as it says in another translation. What this word means here, perfect, or restore, it means to make you what you ought to be. Even in the midst of difficult circumstances, situations, or issues, the Lord can take those circumstances and use them to make you who he wants you to be. He says it like this in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 21. He says that he can equip you with everything good that you may do his will. Brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you today as Peter encouraged the leaders of the church, churches that have been dispersed, that suffering, though it is difficult at the time, that though it may not look like the Lord can restore or perfect us through it, the Lord has his purposes, he has his ways, and the Lord has the, the ability, the power, the sovereignty to work whatever you are going through today for your good and for his glory. So let me encourage you today that the trial, the tribulation, the suffering that you may be facing today, it's making you perfect. It, he will restore you at the end. He is making you who he wants you to be. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this word of encouragement from Peter, telling the leaders of the church, but also telling us that you can restore even in the midst of suffering. Help us to hold on to that truth and to not let it go. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back as we continue to look through this verse in, in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10, titled, that I'm titling, Hold on. God bless.